this video I'm going to show you how the Fidelity stock screener works, um, an important tool to find some potential stocks to invest in. So first thing you got to do um, is you got to log into your Fidelity account. You need a Fidelity account in order to work with the stock screener and enjoy its um, many features. So what you do when you sign into your account, you go to News and Research, scroll down to Stocks, and that brings you to the Stock Research Center. When you get here, um, you have a wide variety of options, and you also have a lot of information at your disposal. So this is up to date. This is uh, January 15, 2019. All the Thomas Reuters, Starmine, Equity uh, reports, and you can scroll and see the price action today um, through a couple different you know, companies. You have the bulls of the day, the bears of the day, all different information. You have um, technical analysis down here. Um, I like going to earning reports. It gives you all the uh, company information you need, um, which companies are up for earnings in the next couple days. So if you're looking to play earning reports, um, you have that feature. Um, you also have <clears throat> upgrades and downgrades. So if you're looking to play something you know, on an uptrend right here, if you're looking to um, short something, you have your downgrades, you have dividends upcoming. But if you want to be more specific, the stock screener is where to go. So you hit stock screener, and you start a screen. So the first set of criteria is the most popular thing. So you can start off with price. Um, so depending on how much you're looking to invest and how much um, the stock is, you want to click whatever you're looking for. If you're looking for penny stocks, you got wide variety of things that you can find. Um, let's start off with something in the 10 to 24 range. So after that, you have pretty much every statistical uh, feature that you'd want. If you want something, if you want to look at the main stats, you know, price for earnings, 12-month um, trailing average. Um, typically, you want something low. You can click a couple of these on the low end. Um, so it took 1,233 in that range um, now I'm down to 355. So if I want to keep going and narrowing down my search, I have all different things I can look at. So these are just most popular. Um, but if you look through each individual one, you can look at different statistics. Market cap, um, revenue, that's another you know, popular one. So if, if we want something that's really made a lot of money, um, financially secure, you can click here. So now it's down to 175 stocks. Um, earnings, we'll go to dividends in a little bit. So earnings, upcoming, so if you want to play something with earnings, if you want something that's had a, you know, a beat, an earnings beat and a surprise, you can click that. Company value, <clears throat> price per earnings, I just did that. Price cash flow, again, you want something kind of low with this stat. So it, it, it gives you the company name, the symbol, you know, whether it's a stock or trust fund. Um, you have the price today and how much it's up or down. You have the statistics that we narrow down over to the right here. Um, management and growth, all these different statistical things, cash flow, performance, volatility. You can click beta. You know, you're analyzed. Net Insider bought, so if you want something with a small, small market cap um, with a lot of insiders, you see what we can find here. So a lot of insiders, if you want percentage of uh, ownership, institutional ownership. So I've narrowed down from 1,233 stocks to nine. Um, that fit the criteria. They have good price for earnings, um, good revenue, cash flow. They have a lot of insiders, um, heavy institutional ownership. So these are probably some pretty decent companies, but you know, not necessarily reached the height of the company, and that's why they're still kind of eleven, twelve dollars. Um, you know, something that could really go up in the future. So you look at these kind of things, and you can play around with different features that you like trading on volume. Uh, technical analysis, if you want to see if any of these have bullish or bearish signals. So three of these have some 
bullish signals. Now, what I always do is I always check when were these uh, flags put up. So this is the 4th, 28th. You can see this is a little older, so 28th. So um, if you want to clear your stock screener, what happened? I think I just cleared it by mistake. But um, if you want to start over, let's say you want to do dividends, you know, so security price, 10 to $24. Uh, dividend yield, you, know, you want something with a high dividend yield. If you're going to play a dividend stock, uh, let's see. Go back down to the dividend stuff. And then you can see when the X record date, X dividend date, excuse me, and the record date are coming up. So we have a couple that are coming up. And if you're interested in playing a dividend stock, um, it tells you the percentage yield and when the X dividend date is. Um, you're supposed to buy the stock the day before the X dividend date and be a shareholder. Um, you have to hold through this day, and then you can trade on the record date or after. Um, so these are a couple companies that have some dividends coming up. So, um, so the stock screener's got a lot of cool features. Um, analysis opinions. Uh, let's see, equity score. So out of these um, that have dividends, you know they don't really have the best equity scores. Um, this one's bullish. Actually, these two are pretty good. Um, so it's just something you can play around with if you're looking to invest in some more reputable stocks or if you're looking to day trade penny stocks and you're looking for certain statistics. It's a pretty cool feature if you have Fidelity. Um, so, you know, play around with it and you know, you'll get more familiar with it. There's a lot of different statistical features and things that you can play around with um, to help you become a better trader. So... Thanks for watching.